For decades, astronomers and dreamers alike have gazed toward Proxima Centauri, the closest star to our sun, imagining what secrets it might hold. Just over four light years away, nestled within the Alpha Centauri system, Proxima Centauri hosts at least one known planet, Proxima b, long considered one of the most promising exoplanets. For potential habitability, Proxima b has remained tantalizingly out of reach until now. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, humanity's most advanced eye in space, has just delivered the clearest image ever captured of Proxima b, and with it comes a monumental leap forward in our understanding of distant worlds. Before we start, smash the like and subscribe buttons for more updates. The image arrived like a revelation. At first glance, it resembled what one might expect a distant orb suspended in the velvet dark. But what made this image unlike any previous depiction of an exoplanet wasn't just its clarity, it was its intimacy. For the first time, scientists were able to observe atmospheric layers, temperature gradients, and possible surface structures on a rocky exoplanet orbiting another star. The sheer precision of JWST's optics, combined with its infrared imaging capabilities, offered an unparalleled window into a planet that has long stood as a beacon of possibility. Proxima b orbits within its star's habitable zone, where conditions might allow for the presence of liquid water, but until now, almost everything we knew about it was inferred. Mass, orbit, and proximity. Previous instruments, from the venerable Hubble to powerful Earth-based observatories, gave only shadows and data traces, radial velocity dips, spectral wobbles, statistical models. No telescope had ever directly imaged Proxima b with any detail, let alone resolution high enough to distinguish planetary features. That changed with JWST's latest release. What makes the James Webb Telescope uniquely suited for such a historic observation is its capacity to operate in the infrared spectrum, allowing it to cut through cosmic dust and glimpse the faintest signals from distant celestial objects. Positioned at the second Lagrange point L2, it orbits the Sun in perfect tandem with Earth, Far from the interfering heat and noise of our own atmosphere, its mirrors gold-coated and sprawling nearly 7 meters in diameter collect photons with a delicacy and precision that has no equal when trained on Proxima b, JWST, delivered what generations of scientists had only dreamed of, a detailed image not only of the planet itself but of its relationship to its parent star and surrounding space. The image shows a rocky world slightly larger than Earth, with a landscape that hints at geological activity. There are variations in surface brightness that suggest mountains or large continental ridges. Subtle thermal differences detected across the hemisphere facing its star suggest active weather patterns, winds perhaps, or even something resembling cloud cover. Most notably, Webb sensors detected absorption patterns in the infrared spectrum that suggest the presence of certain atmospheric gases, carbon dioxide, possibly water vapor, and a strange faint trace of something that has yet to be confidently identified. This clarity marks a seismic shift in how scientists can study exoplanets. No longer confined to indirect methods of detection, astronomers can now observe and analyze the actual light reflecting from Proxima b's surface and atmosphere. That difference is immense. It transforms the hypothetical into the observable it moves Proxima b from the realm of theoretical astrobiology into a new phase of empirical exploration. For the first time, a world outside our solar system doesn't just exist in equations, it has a face. What's particularly striking is how Webb's imaging has reshaped assumptions about Proxima b's environment. Early models constrained by limited data painted a bleak picture a tidally locked planet scorched on one side and frozen on the other, with a thin or non-existent atmosphere stripped away by stellar flares from its volatile red dwarf star. But the web image complicates that 
narrative. Thermal imaging across the planet's surface shows a surprising uniformity of heat, implying the possible presence of an atmosphere capable of redistributing warmth. That in turn opens the door to discussions of climate regulation, cloud formation, and most tantalizingly, the potential for habitability. The implications extend beyond Proxima B itself. This single image sets a precedent for what the James Webb Space Telescope can achieve in exoplanetary science. Proxima B has long been the poster child for potentially habitable worlds due to its proximity and Earth-like characteristics. But there are countless other planets awaiting the same treatment, some even closer in size and composition to Earth others located in even more stable stellar environments. Webb's success here suggests a future in which imaging a broad catalog of exoplanets becomes routine. There's a quiet poetry to this moment. Humanity, perched on its pale blue dot, has turned its gaze outward and, with new clarity, glimpsed a sister world. The image of Proxima b doesn't just represent a planet, it embodies the enduring curiosity that propels exploration. It's a snapshot of possibility, of what might be. For those who've dedicated their lives to studying the cosmos, the arrival of this image is a moment of validation and awe. For those just discovering the wonders of the universe, it's an invitation. The technical achievement is staggering. The stability required to maintain a lock on a point of light four light years away, the precision needed to isolate planetary features against the brightness of a nearby star, the data processing techniques to decode faint infrared signals. All of these are marvels of engineering and software working in concert. The success of this mission is not just a testament to human ingenuity, but to decades of international cooperation, planning, and persistence. Webb's image also hints at something more philosophical. If we can see Proxima b this clearly, if we can detect signs of weather, gas, and geology, we're beginning to cross a threshold where exoplanets are no longer speculative destinations, but tangible places. They're not just out there anymore. They are somewhere with surfaces that may host winds, rain, valleys, and perhaps even the rudimentary ingredients of life. The emotional weight of that realization is difficult to overstate. It changes how we think of space, not as a void, but as a vibrant tapestry of diverse, dynamic worlds. In scientific circles, the reaction has been electrifying. Researchers are already combing through the flood of data accompanying the image, seeking to refine models of planetary evolution, atmospheric chemistry, and orbital dynamics. The spectral data hint at complex interactions within Proxima b's atmosphere, possibly even photochemical reactions driven by its red dwarf star's intermittent flares. Some teams are exploring how these interactions might affect the long-term stability of any biosignatures. Others are considering how this image might inform future missions, including those proposed using robotic probes or even interstellar sails. One of the more provocative discussions sparked by this image centers on habitability. If Proxima b possesses a stable atmosphere and surface temperatures capable of supporting liquid water, then it is by definition within the threshold of habitability as we currently understand it. But habitability doesn't just mean Earth-like conditions. It means the potential for ecosystems for chemistry to evolve into complexity. The clearer the picture becomes, the more the conversation shifts from could life exist to how might it look, function, adapt. There's also growing interest in how Webb's imaging might aid in comparative planetary science. Proxima b, while unique, shares traits with many planets both in our solar system and beyond. By comparing its features to those of Mars, Earth, or even Venus, scientists can refine their understanding of planetary development. Did Proxima b experience a runaway greenhouse effect? Is it in a geological phase akin to Earth's early Archean eon? Has it retained tectonic activity? These are no longer abstract questions. With high-resolution imaging and rich spectral data, they become testable hypotheses. The clarity of the image has also ignited renewed discussions about future exploration missions. 
Proposals like Breakthrough Starshot, which aims to send tiny light-propelled probes to nearby stars, now seem less like distant dreams and more like logical next steps. If a planet just over four light years away can be seen in this much detail, then launching micro-scale explorers to gather in-situ data becomes a goal within technological reach. If not now, then within decades, educational institutions and planetariums are already adapting the new image into their exhibits and curricula. For the next generation of scientists, Proxima B won't be a mysterious dot in a textbook. It will be a world with color, contrast, and character. This shift from abstraction to visualization is powerful. It transforms the way we teach, learn, and inspire. It becomes easier to explain the importance of planetary science when you can point to a real place and say, we've seen this world. While many details still await confirmation and deeper study, one thing is clear, this image is a beginning. It's the dawn of a new chapter in exoplanetary science, one where observation and imagination walk hand in hand. The technology behind JWST will continue to evolve and future instruments on Earth and in orbit will build upon this foundation. But nothing can replace the first moment when the universe opens its curtain and reveals something hidden, something long suspected but never before confirmed. Every pixel of that image tells a story, a story of starlight traveling four years through space to reach a floating mirror of gold, a story of how that light was split, measured, and mapped with extraordinary care, a story of data turned into vision, and vision turned into understanding. It is a triumph of science, of technology, and of the collective spirit of exploration that refuses to settle for ignorance. In the coming months, the image of Proxima b will be analyzed from every angle, spectroscopic data will be parsed, thermal maps refined, and every visible anomaly scrutinized. There will be debates, revisions, breakthroughs, and probably a few surprises, but the most profound impact may be on the human imagination. Seeing a distant, possibly habitable planet in such clarity expands the realm of the possible. It invites not just scientific inquiry, but cultural reflection. It forces humanity to re-examine its place in the cosmos, not from a position of isolation, but of connection. For now, the image of Proxima b stands as a symbol of what we can achieve when curiosity meets capability. It's a reminder that the universe is not just a cold expanse of stars and silence, but a dynamic theater filled with unknown actors waiting to be discovered. With the James Webb Space Telescope as our instrument, we've taken one more step into that darkness and found not emptiness, but wonder. The unveiling of Proxima b in such exquisite detail is more than a technological milestone. It represents a deep psychological and cultural turning point. Until now, exoplanets were largely the realm of the invisible. Scientific extrapolations drawn from dips in starlight or wobbles in a star's motion. This new image shatters that abstraction. For the first time, Humanity has visually encountered a terrestrial world outside our solar system. It has gone from idea to artifact, an object with color, temperature, texture. This transformation changes how we relate to the cosmos and to the very idea of planetary neighbors. There's an almost mythic weight to this moment. For centuries, the idea of other Earths haunted human thought, whispered about in the pages of early astronomical treatises, speculative fiction, and philosophical musings. Proxima b, as seen through the lens of JWST, gives those centuries of speculation a concrete anchor. Here is a world orbiting a nearby star, visible not as a data stream, but as a planetary disk resolved by a machine built to fulfill humanity's oldest longing to look beyond the horizon. As astronomers continue to examine the details of the image, attention has naturally turned to questions of planetary dynamics. 
Proxima b's orbit is incredibly close to its host star, completing a full revolution in just over 11 Earth days. From such proximity, it would receive a constant bath of stellar radiation, particularly in the ultraviolet range. With JWST's data, researchers now have the tools to evaluate how that radiation interacts with Proxima b's upper atmosphere. This helps determine whether the planet has retained enough of its protective envelope to shield any potential biospheres below. The early readings suggest some degree of atmospheric retention, an unexpected outcome given the traditionally violent behavior of red dwarf stars. The scale of radiation interaction also opens up new frontiers in exoplanet climatology. With the imaging and spectral data obtained, scientists are crafting the most detailed climate simulations ever run for a world beyond our system. These models are incorporating JWST's thermal and photonic inputs to simulate everything from day-night circulation patterns to long-term climate feedback loops. This could tell us whether the planet suffers from extreme temperature swings, whether its weather operates in cyclical patterns, or whether it could maintain climate equilibrium conditions necessary for habitability. One of the more surprising findings buried in the early image data is the suggestion of surface heterogeneity, differences in reflectivity, none as albedo, across various portions of Proxima b hint at the presence of varied terrain. Some areas reflect more infrared light, possibly due to icy or mineral-rich surfaces, while others absorb it more completely, suggesting darker basaltic regions. This patchwork texture could imply a complex geological history, perhaps shaped by tectonic or volcanic forces. 